at the Opawahi Pampak Kiwi Creche in the Hawke's Bay, an important part of saving the kiwi is educating our youngsters. I'm about to join a group of kids on a kiwi care education tour. OK, kids, welcome. Today we're going to go and look for a kiwi. How many of you have seen kiwis? Yes, Well, you guys are very lucky. OK, we're going to go and track it. He's three months old. His name is Eddie. We went and took him from his dad in the car workers because we want him to survive. Only 5% of kiwis survive in the bush when they are left there. So we're bringing them in here so he will have a better chance at living. He'll stay here till he's 800 grams and then we will take him back to the car workers where we will release him. Um, so how we find him, we've got this RX, he's got a little transmitter on him and I will plug this in and I'll let you hear him because I think he's fairly close. Can you hear that little beep? Well we'll head off now Great. and we'll go and see if we can find him. Oh, what's Eco Ed all about? With school kids nowadays I suppose they get less and less exposure to the outdoors. So Eco Ed was all about trying to make sure school kids still got out in the outdoors. So what happened was we set up, and not long after we established, we realised that the Kiwi population in Hawke's Bay needed help. And so we swung into action. And with work in the Kawika Ranges, we've started working on recovering our local Kiwi population. It's all about hands-on stuff, you know. With kids, you can talk to them in the classroom, and a lot of them will turn off. But if you bring them out here, you can really engage them in actually what conservation's all about. So while they're here, enjoying the area, experiencing the bush, paddling on the lake, they get to learn about the environment and how to look after it. OK, so now we've found our kiwi and um, he's going to have his health check. So the first thing we're going to do is measure his left middle Cherry, what is it that you do out here? Um, we're looking after the kiwis. They're in here to get bigger, so they're stoke proof They can go back into the car workers. So I'm here to give them health checks um, till they weigh 800 grams. Um, we give them a health check every three weeks just to make sure that everything's okay with them. How often are kids out here at the crash? Um, we try and get the kids involved at every health check if we can get um, classes interested in coming up. Most kids in New Zealand never get to see a Kiwi and to show a child a Kiwi it's just amazing and I, I get goosebumps myself every time I show someone that hasn't seen a Kiwi. It's fantastic. Your working partner out here is your dad. How does that go? <laughs> I can tell him what to do and he just does it and it's good. Keith, what do you do out here at the Kiwi Crash? I'm just a helper of cherries, really. Uh, hand the stuff and get uh, cut the blackberry away when we get one in a blackberry bush and crawl in underneath and try and get the kiwis out. I've always loved having kids around and uh, it's good to be able to teach them a bit of bushcraft and that, yeah. Do you think the kids get a lot out of it? I think they get a, a real lot out of it. Yeah, they're really good for them, I think. Never gonna let you down. I'll be the one and you can call on me whenever, whenever. It's great to see young people so passionate about conservation. This ongoing education is vital to the care and survival of our native wildlife. OK, kids, we're finished with them now. We'll go and put them back. 